In this video, I take my GOAT squad into a game of My Team Unlimited to unlock a hidden reward. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. In this video, guys, we are using my God Squad to unlock a hidden reward in the My Team Unlimited grind. So make sure you do start this video by hitting the subscribe button right now. That is the most important thing you can ever do, is make sure you subscribe to the channel right now as we are grinding to 150,000 subscribers. And we are 14 and nine, I got a 60% win ratio. It's nothing to brag about. I'm basically a casual player with a really good team. That would be the best way to describe the type of player I am, but we're like 150 points away to getting Invincible Demato Rosen, but that's not actually the reward we're going to unlock. Here is my God Squad right here, the absolute best 13 cards I have on my account put together into one lineup, and hopefully I can win this next game to unlock that hidden reward. We have an opponent right here, Point Guard Kareem. I really don't feel like that. I really do not feel like Point Guard Kareem. 42 and 30, god damn it. Let's see what happens happens guys let's see if i can pull something off here i mean he doesn't have the most impressive record by far but can i beat him am i going to be part of that 42 statistic or the 30 statistic because one thing i've learned playing a lot of my team unlimited in 2k24 every time it's a new season it's like the whole game the whole mode just completely restarts and it's all about experience like the more you play i feel like it's just the better you are like i've i've versed teams that are a lot worse than mine but if they've got that experience on me nine times out of ten i swear they're beating me can we get a stop right there we do I'm surprised i actually missed that last three with bron felt like a nice release I'm trying to shake kareem that's not a good shot Let's slow this game down a little bit, see if we can get something. Dirk, he gets a look at a three. I like that look a lot. Cause I think it just mainly comes down to people just being really, you know, just really used to using the, using the, the like different mechanics and animations and everything like that. And I think that plays a massive part in being good in my team unlimited. But I'm not saying we're definitely gonna lose by any means. I think we have a chance as I green that, but get blocked. The number one thing I definitely don't want is a blowout. If we could have a, a close game, that would be sick. We're going to Glenn Rice, who's not getting a look. That's not what we want to see. Let's grab a screen from Bradley. Back to him, probably should have gone for the drive on that. Let's go to that. Let's go to Bron, quick shoot three. Damn, I hope I don't have to use 24, the 24 second shot clock every single time down the floor. It's a massive relief when I get a stop, I will admit. Going to I, I want I want just Glenn Rice open wide open all the time. Nope. It's the best feeling when I see him wide open. It's been a pretty low scoring game. Going to Wemby pump fake Dirk down low. Let's go Dirk. Decent start for him. I'll be putting the bench on pretty soon. Wemby yet to score, and I find him to be like the easiest card to score with because like he's so unstoppable inside. We got a steal. Back to Wemby. Let's go. That was actually really contested. We got another stop. Let's go to Glenn. Can I pull that with Glenn? Chill, 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 chill. Take the easy. That was meant to be an easy bucket at least, but at least we got the board. Let's go back to Bron. I'm gonna call a timeout and put the bench on, I think. The bench feels kind of new to me because I have made a decent amount of adjustments on the bench. So I'm not as... It's not as easy, as, it's not as smooth as the starters, I would say. I feel like I need to get used to my bench a little bit more. We got another stop. Holding for the last shot right here would be good. If I got wide open, I definitely would have shot it. Oh, okay, I'm taking that actually. That's way too easy to pass up an N1 dunk from Penny Hardaway. Need to convert that Penny. Got to convert that. We get a 10 point lead into the first quarter. Just like I said, with the experience my opponent has, I want to absolutely make sure we step on the throttle because I have a feeling he could definitely come back. No way, give me that. Get rid of it, Mello. Give me that full court real quick. Oh, nearly. I do not want my opponent to get a glimmer of hope. I want to just keep, keep it going. Man, Shaq, I love Shaq at the shooting guard. It's so unfair. We play more good defense, honestly. I don't want to jinx anything, but I am liking the way this game is going as KG, the big ticket, gets his first bucket. More stops, keep up the stops. We're stepping on this man's throat. KG, Shaq in the corner, not the ideal shot. Yeah, see, I mean, I always freaking miss with Shaq. I used to be better with him. For some reason, I have gotten worse. 
Let's go to Mello. He won't miss a three. Give me that one, Mello. Layups. Layups from Mello. Good steal. Go to Shaq. Hit him with the spin, Shaq. Hit him with the spin. Nice and easy. He did get a three with his... Oh, I feel like I want a Mello. Chill. Bol Bol, that's you. That's you, Bol Bol. That is you. He just hit back-to-back -back threes with Sean Bradley. I mean, if that... If I end up losing because of a bunch of Sean Bradley threes, dude, I deserve to lose, but we keep it rolling, guys. We got another three with Penny. He chucked up a terrible shot. He was an absolute brick. We're going inside. Nice, easy dunk. I think this game is more than likely already over. Bowl bowl, nice little midi. I'm taking smart shots only. I'm not forcing anything, but I'm going to bring the starters on right now. Really try and put the burners on and just end this game. The starters are back on and give me that quick shots. Give me that layups again from Glenn Rice. I mean, he has a goat point guard Kareem at the end of the day. If anyone's coming back from this game, it's going to be goat Kareem. Quick passes to Wemby. You're sleeping on Wemby, sleeping on Bradley. Foul, I'll take it. Bron with a steal. Over to Wemby. Catch you three. Let's go. Let's go. One thing I've mentioned in one of my last gameplays of my God Squad, when I get rolling with this team, very hard to stop. And Dirk gets a block. Throw it off the backboard. Oh, let's go, Dirk. That is so realistic. That is prime Dirk Nowinski right there. We're up by 20, so it's a fantastic position to be in. I'm going in with Glenn Rice. Yes, sir. Layups. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. We're on to the final quarter right now, and... I'm not scared or anything like that. My opponent has made it an 11 point game, which it's in uh, it's in arm's reach for sure. Like nothing is guaranteed. It is not a guaranteed win. There you go. It's guaranteed that KG's a dog though. I start the game off with a bucket, make it back to back buckets, and he starts the game off with a miss, which hopefully just ruined his confidence. My job right now is simple. I just got to coast to the finish line. I was definitely going to shoot that, but I wasn't sure what he was going to do with his bowl bowl. KG though, I'm happy with the two. Let's go Wemby. There's only one goat of my team at the end of the day, and that's Wemby. Goat Bron versus Goat Reem. Most points scored versus second most points scored. Oh, could you imagine? I want to try and hit a three in his face. That would have been insane. That's worth that's worth risking blues in this game. Our opponent has cut it all the way down to just a nine point game. That sounds like a lot, but it's only three three pointers when you think about it. Matched up against her Kareem. Oh, he's leaning. That's all oh, there. There's two more points to the tally, Kareem. That's gonna wrap up this game though. We are taking the dub. First, we're opening up the vault though. I'd love a 100 overall Magic Johnson. That would just be, that would be so dope if I could get that. Card seems so hard to obtain. Come on, Magic. And we get 1500 MT. And we're gonna level up right here, which is gonna get us a free invincible DeMar DeRozan. But what, what is the secret level that we unlock? The DeMar DeRozan is a duplicate. So we're not gonna sell him for 3000 MT because that is just robbery we're going to send him to the exchange and get a season seven super pack that is a guaranteed sellable galaxy opal player or higher and there's a lot of good cards in there we're going to open up these two nba champions deluxe packs first i got these from mighty mind limited as well just from the, the from the vault and this one's not shaken so we got a duplicate at least it's a galaxy opal so it's a duplicate so they're both both of mine are non-sellable so i'll just send that to the exchange normally these are like pink diamonds every Every single time so it was nice seeing an opal for a change i would love a slow shake out of one of these packs though no it's going to be a pink diamond duplicate pink diamond of course and we are going to get a fireworks pack for that though so maybe we can get a quick 100 wilt maybe a goat luca i'll take either they met both of them would make my squad so can we see a slow shake no it's an emerald but we have this pack right here i want a slow shake out of this one we just cashed in an invincible demand de rosen give me something on that level slow shake it is not it is an opal that is a letdown for sure but we get we got some mt right here that's one thing that you cannot take away what lebron is this galaxy is this just his goat Le, goat series lebron cut it must be right it is which actually kind of sucks and that's for one reason these opals are super cheap. It's only 16,000 MT, but I'll take it. That concludes my Team Unlimited gameplay video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. It's been witnessed.